Welcome aboard, Islanders. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. We are now arriving at Epcot. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. All right, so we're heading in for the first time. And as you can see, hello. Hello. All right, so some of the gondolas have wraps on them with the different Disney characters. And we are actually in an empty one. Look, there we are. Well, we're gonna give you an idea of what, uh, what this all looks like now. Here we go. So we are about to take flight. So this is the line that comes up over Caribbean Beach, and you can see the new Riviera Resort off into the distance over there. You can see that the uh, the cabins, they're quite roomy. Hello over there! Hello. Hey! You are so far away! I can't see you! Um, and then also, of course, there are these uh, vents here that you can close or open, and you can probably hear the wind through them. Uh, it's quite fast and quite breezy. And then you can just see some amazing views. The bird's eye view of uh, Walt Disney World is pretty cool. Again, we're coming over Riviera and Caribbean Beach. Look, there's Chewy and the Porgs. <laughs> Again, this is a vantage point that you have never been able to get. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna come down to the uh, Riviera station here in a minute. And uh, eventually once this resort opens, you'll either be able to um, exit the gondola here to get to the resort or continue on to the uh, Epcot line. Here, let's take a look out this way. It's just great to have a system like this here, you know, kind of at a major resort in America. We've been riding these all over the world in, you know, Europe and Asia, different places. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. Ciao, bonjour, and bienvenue. Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. All right, so we are now taking flight out of the Riviera station and uh, heading over to Epcot. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at so Disney's Riviera Resort. It's kind of funny, you can see Tower Tower off to the if distance. If you're just joining us, we are on our way to Epcot. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. It's very cool to see all the different designs on the Skyliners. I'd say about half of them seem to have characters on them, but of course, if you want to, um, if you want to have a better view looking out over Disney World, uh, you want to get one that does not have a character. And then, of course, from the gondolas without a character, you get to look at all the other cool characters. Here comes Coco. So it's also just a great use of, of this area because where these gondolas are, there was just really nothing that was here before. So it's not like it took away any space or anything.
Let's wrap that to Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we will be taking a scenic spin around the Skyliner turn station. Please remain seated. This, yeah, this station was designed for turning only. And, and again, a lot of people are worried about the lack of quote unquote air conditioning. Oh, it's so nice in here. But, but the amount of breeze, you're standing up okay. for a second and you can see. And even if you're sitting, I'm getting a breeze. It's 92 degrees outside and it's perfectly comfortable. Yeah, I, here. I think. I think a lot of people um, that you know that that maybe let's say don't don't travel as much if uh, are not as uh, used to these gondola systems. But like I said, there's gondola systems like this all over the world. In fact, the first time I rode one similar to this was in England in 1994. You know, and then parks like Kalmarden have one, and Singapore, uh, getting up to Yamiyori Land in Tokyo, Genting Highlands. Genting Highlands. Yeah. So this this is a very common mode of transportation in other parts of the world so it's kind of nice to see it here uh in america that's not necessarily just a um, like an amusement park attraction but actually a way to get people from point a to point b oh so here we are coming to uh this is a really cool spot this is actually um one of my favorite areas so i, I don't know what this is technically called i've been calling it the l um just because it's it's you come in here and you just you know make make a turn and this is where you go you come into this spot here and then you head right over to epcot i guess i call it an l because if you look at it on google maps it just looks like a letter l and it's also cool because we're, we're right now over the boardwalk parking lot so if you ever come into Boardwalk and park as a guest, you could literally park in these spaces right over here, right next to the gondolas. Coming into view is Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Villas. From elegant dining and magical lounges to lively entertainment, just off the shores of Crescent Lake, this charming seaside resort relives the golden era of Atlantic beach towns and turn-of-the-century amusement parks. If you are planning to visit World Showcase today, now might be a good time to practice your Hola, Ni house and Konnichiwa. When you arrive at each station's pavilion, right, so here we are will be waiting to greet you in their native language, helping make your visit to Epcot a truly international exchange. And we get a little glimpse of uh, some construction going on right now at Epcot, which will be for the new Ratatouille attraction. There's a lot happening over here. Opening summer 2020, Ratatouille. Thanks, Remy. So if you've ever been on the attraction out of Disneyland Paris, you're getting a very similar version of it here. And along with the Krupp restaurant. Yay. So you can see there's a lot of construction that's happening here at the moment. So this should be pretty cool when it's all open. As you can see, there's a lot of buildings. The expansion to France is going to be pretty extensive. Like, look, you can definitely see lots of stuff under construction over here. And then there's the, the new backside of the French area. All right, so now we're coming into the Epcot station with the uh, recently redone International Gateway. And this is probably, of all the stations, my my favorite. I think it's the prettiest of all of them. Just has such a cool look to it. We are now arriving at Epcot. Here we go. Oh! Place of joy, hope, and friendship. And I think this is where we're going to get out. Yes. How was your first ride? I love it! It's so much fun, isn't it? It's great. From Epcot's International Gateway, you can get on the Disney Skyliner and it goes to uh, the Riviera and Caribbean Beach and then heads over to Art of Animation, Pop Century and Hollywood Studios. So here we're gonna board in just a moment 
you can see the station is amazing looking over here. Oh look, I can see Mickey and Minnie up there as well, waving hello to people. Look, Mickey's waving hi to me. Hello Minnie, how's it going you guys? Hello Mickey and Minnie, how's it going you guys? So we just got off the amazing Skyliner. What, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Is it awesome? So thumbs up, so, so much fun, excellent, good. Um, so wh wh what is your favorite line? You like going to Epcot? You like going to Hollywood Studios? All of it, all of it, all of it, okay. It's, it's too good to, to pick a favorite, right? Like everything is, is fantastic. So we, we agree, we absolutely love it. So we're here at the uh, Skyliner Station at the Caribbean Beach. And you can see here is where you have the, uh, the three different lines that go to different places. So if we want to go to Riviera and Epcot, we're gonna go back here. And if we want to go to Hollywood Studios, that's right in front of us. All right, here we are heading to Hollywood Studios. Ladies, gentlemen, and Islanders of all ages, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Cool view of tower from here. Backside tower. Backside of tower. Fancy Star Wars one. Oh yeah, there's about two. just a few minutes, we will be arriving at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Whether you plan to visit a galactic outpost or play with all of Andy's toys, at Disney's Hollywood Studios, everyone can become the stars of their favorite cinematic stories. walk the red carpet, remember to double check your FastPass Plus selections using your My Disney Experience mobile app. You can also view your star-studded itinerary at a FastPass Plus kiosk when we arrive. Remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. 
Okay, our next stop is Disney's Pop Century and Art of Animation. So we're gonna head out over on this side over here. All right, so now we're on the line heading from Caribbean Beach to uh, Pop Century Art of Animation. And we have taken flight. This one's a little bit lower to the ground than the other line. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Now get ready to travel back in time and enter the animated worlds of Disney. We are on our way to Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. So here's what it looks like from the other way, which we'll be taking that way very shortly. Just ahead and to the right is Disney's Art of Animation Resort, a larger-than-life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films, from sketches to reality. On your left is Disney's Pop Century Resort, a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived, played, and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century. Well, we're going to go down and skim the water. I love how close they come to the water over here. This is really cool. Here we go. We are now gliding over the sparkling waters of Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on earth. I think this might be my favorite part so far. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at the only floating Skyliner station Ooh. at Walt Disney World Resort. Passengers can disembark here for Disney's Pop Century Resort and for Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Thank you for flying the Disney Skyliner. Bon voyage. Floating Skyliner Station. I think I found Nemo. He's right under us. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us.